Hi everyone. Um, I wanted to share with, with you guys a creepy story about a picture I had. It used to be right here. Um, since I just talked about parades a little bit, um, I used to I used to be in a lot of stupid stuff. Anyway, I I had been to Mardi Gras, okay, and you know Mardi Gras is a big parade, and it's really it's really evil. Anyway, Mardi Gras. Parades are an old tradition. They go back a long time ago, and they have really dark background, back roots, okay? So, anyway, this is when, if you haven't watched my hell, my hell testimony, okay, and my third eye testimony, I was experiencing, like, crazy, crazy spiritual warfare for four years, okay? And one of the things that happened, I have many stories. I am not making any of them up. And this is just another story during that time. I had a picture up here. It was of Mardi Gras, of a big Mardi Gras parade, okay? And it had the big heads and like, you know, like, you know, like the clowns, like the Jack, you know, like the Jack clowns, okay? Um, and when my third eye, when I was under spiritual attack and my third eye, out, third eye was open, that thing... I am not kidding. That thing was like whistling. I could hear like voices and stuff coming out of it. And I know that sounds like so such a crazy. It sounded like such a crazy person. I don't see or hear any of this stuff anymore. Okay, after I was born again, but that there was a creepy that picture at night. It would look like it was like hovering like this. Okay, and I would hear like voices coming out of it, like scary demonic voices coming out of the picture. I am not kidding you. I'm not making any of this up. This is why I'm always kind of going off on parades. And like later I looked up what parades came from and what they were and what Mardi Gras was. Um, and I was just like, oh, no wonder. I was sensing that evil stuff coming from just that picture, okay? And I don't know. I just wanted to share that with you guys. God doesn't mess around when he says not to hang that stuff on your put pictures up like that all over your house, okay? Because it opens a doorway. It literally opens a doorway to demonic activity. I could literally hear and see it when I had that picture up. Um, So I'm just telling you, if you ever been to Mardi Gras or if you ever are super into parades, I'm just telling you that you should probably, um, you should probably think twice before you get, before you're in a parade or you like them, you like go to them all the time. I don't want to, I don't go to that stuff anymore. I'm not saying if you go to a parade, it's a sin. Mardi Gras is a sin. That's like a different kind. That's like level 10 naked demonic energy parade. Okay. Um, I even had the Mardi Gras mask and everything. It was, I was, it was, I was a hot mess. Anyway, I had bought voodoo dolls. It was so stupid. I have a voodoo doll story. Since... Well, I'll, I'll talk about my voodoo doll story. This is buff. This, okay, that painting thing happened probably like two years ago when I was under a spiritual attack. Okay. But probably, this was, I went to New Orleans around six years ago. Seven years ago. It was a while back. And this is, buff, this is what I was still married to a woman. Okay. I was married. I went there with my other friend. Um,. I'm not gay anymore, okay, but I was, if you don't, have you haven't seen my testimony, I used to be a lesbian, okay, and I was a lesbian for 20 years. I'm not anymore. I was, I'm born again. I don't do that stuff anymore. I don't even, I'm not even tempted to. That stuff has left me. Thank you. Thankfully. God took all that stuff away from me. I'm not kidding. I don't have any desire for women anymore. And anyway, so I was with my wife at the time and my other friend. And we were we went to New Orleans, and we you know we drank, got drunk. We it wasn't during Mardi Gras, but um, at at that time. But you know they still do parades and stuff. But anyway, and I bought a bunch of voodoo dolls, okay, as gifts for people. They were they were not voodoo dolls you buy at like Womp, like you know like Hot Topic or anything. These things were creepy, okay. These things were really creepy, and I'm this was a while back. This was before my third eye opened or any of that stuff. And, like, we had the voodoo dolls, and right when, like, we just started getting bad luck, man. Really bad luck. And, like, right when we got, right from the airport, our car broke down. Um, 
I was, we were living with another friend at the time. We were sharing a house. And her dog bit a bunch of people or bit a guy. And he never, she never does that. Her, her fish died. We kept ha smelling this weird smell that the, like, even, even when we would leave the house, okay, the, these voodoo's had a really musky smell to them. They were disgusting. These things were so demonic. They had a really nasty smell, but we could still smell it everywhere we went. It was like, we'd go, like, my, even my roommate, who didn't even know about the voodoo dolls, was like, keep smelling this weird smell. We're like, what the heck? And, like, uh, and this is creepy, because we had a picture on the wall. I don't know what the, I don't remember what the picture was, but it flew off the wall once and landed on us. You know what I mean? Like, it was, we were, like, and we started it to connect it to the voodoo dolls. We're like, our phones wouldn't work. Um, the fish died, the dog went crazy and bit somebody, all in like one week, like right when we got back from New Orleans. And, um, I'm not kidding you, we're like, do you think it maybe it's the voodoo dolls? Like, you know what I mean? And, like, it has to be, because we we were just experiencing some really weird stuff. And... We got rid of the voodoo dolls, and we were like, we like did it the right, well, the right way. We the online tell told you to do what you need to do is pray to Jesus. That's what you should be doing. But I, I this was way before I got into Jesus and the Bible. I had literally had no idea how to get rid of demons or negative energy spirits or idols, little dolls. I just I didn't know you. If you you need want you want to get rid of that stuff, you need to pray to Jesus and have him get it out of your house, obviously. But you need to pray to him. Okay, because we, that's not what we did. We got the voodoo dolls, and it says you have to, you have to like, get rid of it on a flowing water. So we went to the, we went to a river and everything, and got rid of it correctly. Um, and you have to give it presents, and, like, li send it on its way. Which is stupid, because someone else could just pick it up. And then, <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, so we sent it down the river and everything, like, because we were, like, we were done. Like, I don't know, but that's my creepy parade picture story and my creepy voodoo doll story about New Orleans and all that parade stuff and voodoo doll stuff it's ugh. and right after that the bad the bad stuff stopped happening even though you know what I mean <laughs> a few years later after I had my near-death experience that was like that was that's when this happened that was that was like child's play compared to the spiritual warfare I was under after that Anyway, I just wanted to share that. Thank you.